In diagnostic testing, one aspect of the test is using bone conduction, using a little transducer that sits on the mastoid bone behind the client's ear. When you test with bone conduction, you actually stimulate both cochleas at the same level. So unless both ears are exactly the same hearing level, you won't know at this stage whether you're testing, your test results are coming from the right ear or the left ear. Audiologists know this, and so again, when they are figuring out the hearing loss in the right ear, or the hearing loss in the left ear, or the hearing loss in both ears, they are aware that there are occasions when the signals being presented are not coming from the ear that they wish to test. And with bone conduction, if you want to test the right ear, you place the bone conductor on the right ear, mastoid, and you occupy the other ear with a noise called masking. And I can give you an example of what it's like, what the masking noise sounds like. I'm just going to give you a signal at 1000 hertz and you can probably hear it sounds a bit like a train going through a tunnel that's the noise that would be occupying the non-test ear I'm going to turn that down and I'm going to actually provide you with what the tone would be like for the client to listen to coming out of the bone, line, uh, bone conductor you can hear the tone that's the tone they would be listening for and the masking signal would be occupying the non-test ear very simple, it sounds a little complicated when you're trying to explain it in this way but the audiologists know what they're doing the patient will be clear in their own mind what they're doing and as I said in my other video on air conduction masking this is something you can train a seven year old child to do so for adults it's a piece of cake the point is this, that with diagnostic testing you can not only determine how much of a hearing loss there is you've also got a really good idea as to where the problem lies and as a result what the best solution is to getting the patient back hearing as well as possible. So that's basically what's happening when you have your diagnostic test done. You listen through headphones, you listen with the bone conductor, there might be a situation where you'll have to have masking carried out. But these things are dead easy to do, no problem at all, and at the end of it, within half an hour to 40 minutes, the audiologist will have a full and detailed picture of your hearing loss, if you have one, compared to what is internationally accepted norm level.